Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to explain it to you about what is DevOps, sorry, what is DevOps. So we've been hearing this term called DevOps, DevOps, learn DevOps, you'll get good job opportunities, learn DevOps, there is a lot of job marketing, like job market is there, blah, 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 and, and so on. And I just wanted to let you know, like, what is DevOps? I just want to explain it to you what is DevOps and where we are using it, how the companies are getting benefited from it, and is there any job market for it? If there is just, how do we switch a career from any other thing like uh, testing stream or development or admin to DevOps. Uh, let's just uh, jump into the video. First of all, uh, what is DevOps? DevOps is, DevOps is nothing but, one minute, let me just drink, show you my, my screen. So DevOps is nothing but it's a process actually. It's a, it's not a tool, it's not a technology, it is not something like out of the box, it's just one thing. It is a philosophy or a working culture which, using which you can improve the like speed of the delivery and like quality of your uh, like code. That's what uh, DevOps is. How we are going to achieve it? We are having a lot of tools, the like DevOps offers a lot of tools using those tools you can like organize and uh, like put much more code in your uh, production rather than like a small manner rather than ha having a big bang lot of uh, uh, code into one time uh, let's see what is our traditional approaches this is our traditional approach like that's a waterfall method okay i believe you can see so this is a traditional waterfall method waterfall method what we will do we will design it first the client will come us and give us a requirement so we'll sit and design it and once the design phase is completed we'll go for a coding once the coding phase starts this is where everything is differs in devops agile and between the waterfall so in waterfall we'll just sit and code for entire two months entire fun stretch we'll code it and we'll give it to the testing and in the test uh, iteration happens testing like code bug fixing everything happens in that period and after that finally our code will go into deploy mode this is what happens in a waterfall method okay that's fine what's wrong with that then people come to know okay the client the whenever the client gives a requirement whatever he's getting whatever is getting into the after two months that is entirely different so that's why the people thought okay this is not a good thing let's just change something then they come up with a model called agile in agile what happens like with the, they just give us a code and small piece of uh, like requirement and we, we are just expected to do it in a week or a day or maximum two weeks similar to that and there are daily calls scrum calls to track the process of it that's what happens in the agile methodology so in agile what happens is uh, everything was going good not an issue uh, first we will code it design design is same and then we will code it and then chop small chunk of the piece let's say one week or two week after that that will getting be getting tested by the testing engineers and they will know okay whether we are going up to the mark or not so that way it is will be getting tracked and it will go for again four months uh, or two months whatever the period same period for the coding and once that is getting completed then that will go into deploy mode then that will go into production again here also if you see the from the designing day to the deployment day it took around two months let's say i'm just assuming the period over there so again we have the two months of period to the <coughs> design to the production there is one more problem here how do we solve it that's why we go to the De devops model <coughs> in devops model what happens is you design it same way similar way you design it and you take the similar code small chunk of code and you test it and then you deploy it immediately the small piece of code so that the user can immediately start using that feature alone at least in the production until you develop the other features so here you have much more uh, deployment like here's a deployment here's a deployment here's a deployment like uh, deploy there are more deployment happens like uh, instead of waiting for two months to get the product in production you can easily get in one or two weeks you can just see the basic version of your product in production you can give it to the customers and you can incrementally update the things in the back end while you work on devops method okay this looks good isn't it okay you can just have a multiple production deployment and you can enjoy it all those types. it looks good but what is what could go wrong in, in this each time you're going for a production deployment something may go wrong some code may not work you have to dedicate the time to go you have to uh, process you have to rigorously looking into this and there's a process should be set in everything has to be there the same can be applied into waterfall as well isn't it yes that, that should be that's possible but there are a lot of efforts go into the deploying the uh, things that's where devops distinctly stands it has tools it has tools to organize and automate everything let me just uh, get you one thing how does this like uh, devops achieves this means 
they have a lot of tools for everything like using this tool you can automate almost 90% of the work maybe 100% i don't know but as far i know there is 90% of work you can automate it all these tools you can use to easily go into production without much impact in your code with very less bugs you can go into the production because there is low little manual inter intervention is needed you can just uh, put into jenkins and ship it to uat ship it to pra da, 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 immediately go to the client that's what the process is right now as you can see all these tools are helping us to go to the production very quickly and there are some more process into it which helps us to make the code like intact and make the issues less and and having the uh, like entire uh, thing uh, like going well what is that let's see the philosophy again <coughs> so this is what devops model how devops works i believe now you may know how devops works what is uh, useful of the devops and all those stuffs i believe for uh, like at this point you might you should be knowing if you don't know just give us a comment i can explain it to you a different way and what's the benefit speed and rapid delivery you can deliver multiple times quickly you can deliver like two weeks so here you take the feature and go like that you can deliver that's really fast and reliability scale improved collaboration security all those stuffs come in to the devops methodology if you just use it you have the, all the tools at your disposal you can easily push it like even i worked on some project which has a similar we implemented the devops and we went to first we started implementing jn test cases after that the jenkins came we can easily uh, my life was as a developer my life is so easy we can just push it into the jenkins and from bit bucket it will take and the code will be shipped and it will just go to the prod without much issue so and monthly we can have the production release without much worry so that's what the benefit i see from the like uh, devops implementation i believe everybody see can see the same thing and one thing is next thing what we are going to see is the devops job market yes there are a lot of job market as well uh, now job market is there for devops and a lot of companies are going into the going into operationalize these things like using automation of the production deployment and having to use uh, improve the quality etc etc so there are a lot of job market available and even in the us in india everywhere there is a lot of job market popping up and almost 70% of the it companies they started using devops so it's, there is very good demand on job market for this and if you are a testing if you are a tester or your admin or you are a, like a developer if you want to switch your career to devops how do you do that so basic thing like first you have to understand more first you have to dig deeper on all these tools and just try to understand okay what is git what is selenium what is junit what is sbd movin what is uh, docker what is aws so all these tools you don't have to learn all the tools because some companies may use different tools some companies may use different tools you just learn the common tools and just understand what the process what process goes into that what thinking goes into the devops um philosophy then you are a devops developer just try to implement it most of them are open source uh, stuffs you can easily download and try it at your laptop and you can understand what happens over there and all those steps so this is a devops story which i uh, understood and one more thing also you can do with devops is uh, managing the cluster or managing like the de deployment process let's say you have thousands of nodes which you want to deploy a simple code or you want to patch something previously what uh, admins used to do is they just create a shell script and they just insert it and they just um, like run it and everyone using the cron job and all those stuffs but now you can use chef and puppet or all those stuffs to manage all those things and also there's containerization is happening like using docker and all and microservices that is also coming into the picture so using all these things putting into the picture like devops is very useful for all the most of the companies and it is very growing the market is very good and if you wanted to switch your career please give it a try and learn it if you don't want to switch your career just at least for your development sake just learn it it's fun and it's 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 look very good like i can see i myself can see a lot of improvement while using the devops i believe you will be also able to see the same and if your company does not start using the devops just tell them start uh, tell them to start using it they will be happy that you said it and you may get a good uh, like good increment in the next uh, <laughs> next year i'm just kidding so just do a word that that will it will help everybody so that's pretty much it from this video I'll see you in the next video. If you want more videos, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thank you. Bye-bye.